so we have the that. Clean up like I said, clean up our mess as we go, get this into the sink. And uh, the chopper itself that I was using is just a little awesome one. About 25, 30 bucks, I think. Real cheap. Works real well though. Onion, woo! Some people don't put onion in their chicken salad. I kind of like it. Uh, a lot of people like to put celery in. Just a matter of preference. Don't put, you know, don't need to put too much onion in it. Half of a small yellow. You can't see exactly what I'm doing here, but all I'm really doing at the moment is chopping onions. I don't feel like setting it up uh, <laughs> every single time so you can see exactly what's on my shoulder. But, you know, I can use my chopping too. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use the entire onion though because I, I keep forgetting that I have three chicken breasts in there, which is going to make a real big batch of chicken salad. Should be enough to last me for a couple days. bad thing about these sand tofus like this, um, this one is actually a forged one, it's, got a, it's a, set, a califon, if you got to wash it and hand dry it, because if you don't, it can get rusty, it really sucks, especially when you're cooking, so I tend to um, try to wash it as soon as I'm done using it, makes it easier to, uh, you know, not have to worry about it. Nice and clean, nice and dry, don't have to worry about any spotting. When I first got this one, I didn't realize that you had to actually wash it by hand, so I put it through the dishwasher once or twice, and uh, that resulted in these little spots right there, these little rust spots, they tend to not leave, so you want to be real careful. Chicken and onion. Next step, of course, putting in mayonnaise, mustard, whatever the heck you want, else we want to do. Um, fresh jar of mayo. It's going to take quite a bit, so I decided to use a fresh one. I know I'm going to use the off brands. Because I'm kind of not the best financially at the moment. But for this one, I have the brand. Everyone knows this one yet. Yeah, I'm kind of covering that up just in case. That was on sale. Put a little bit of straight up pepper, sea salt. I like the sea salt. better. Got to do this a little bit more so I won't, I, I keep looking at the screen over here, that's why I'm looking off, it's weird. Uh, celery seed. Uh, don't have any celery at the moment, but celery seed that gives you the flavor without actually having to have the celery. Kind of shake mix it. With these bowls it's nice, you just kind of, you can 
can see. Try to twist your wrist back and forth. Twist your wrist, whoop. Twist your wrist back and forth, and it kind of causes it to slide up the side of the bowl and, uh, you know, mix it itself. Good rule of thumb clean as you go. That way, A, you don't have a big mess at the end, and B, if you forget to clean afterwards, you Get your mayonnaise, just like that. Start off with a couple spoonfuls. That way you don't get, uh, I don't know why I did that, I just wiped up a huge clot of mayonnaise that fell onto the stove. Uh, um, that way it doesn't get too, you know, too moist, because you can always, put more stuff in if it's too moist unless you have more chicken that you can chop up later you can't put in more to kind of thicken it, thicken it up you know so a little bit at a time work it in I just use a normal spoon some people use fork fork is sometimes better depending on uh, how it is Holding it in. So you can just stir it in. In this case, I should have gotten a bit of a big, a thicker, uh, more heavy duty spoon because when you have this much, it sometimes tends to bend some of the uh, cheaper spoons. You know, but that's just quality. Done. Almost, buddy. I'll be out in just a minute. There you go. Nice batch of chicken salad. Not the thinnest, not the thickest, but this is the stuff that you'd be able to use with a uh, spring-loaded ice cream scoop, like you see in some restaurants. You want to scoop? Look. What, James? You want to see... Say hi to people, James. Hi. James always has to be in the middle of things. You know. Parents out there, you know what we're talking about. So, uh, at this point, you can put it on whatever you'd like. Uh, bread, for the most part, obviously, it's chicken salad. goes on sandwiches. You can put it on uh, garden salad. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I have no bread or salad at the moment, I'm getting low on, on surprise. I'm going to put it on crackers and eat it that way. Or you can just eat it straight up out of the bowl, but 